Hey. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to install a car seat in a Honda CRV 2017 model with a Graco's Snug Ride 30 infant car seat. And let's just get into this because this might be long. All right, so there are two parts to this car seat, obviously the car seat and this thing called the base. So with the base, you can see how it inclines on the left there. That's how you want it to be for rear facing. Over here, you can see if it is leveled or not. On mine, there's just this little sticker that says whether or not it's level. It actually doesn't change at all because obviously it's a sticker. But some car seats do have something on the side that indicates if it's leveled. Um, usually it's red and green if it's not yet leveled and then green if it is correctly leveled. So this is installed with the latch method, which I will just show you guys right now. So the latch method is latching. Let's see if I can get it um little hooks where the child anchor points are in your car so child anchor points are little buttons that have a symbol of a child sitting in a car seat in it and they're in different places in different versions of the car so i'm gonna go in for a second and i don't know how well i can get my phone light to shine here maybe i can use the base to do this okay so right here is where a child anchor point is in my car you there's little slots and you just have to slide down until you can feel a metal hook. So it's right there. And you can see it has a little slot right there. It's on this side, it's on that side where the car seat is and obviously over here where it's anchored. What you want to do is take the hooks and hook them down where the anchors the hooks are so take the hooks and make sure it's latched correctly and you should hear a little like click if you did it correctly and then what you do to tighten it is you would put your hand on the middle part of the base and pull up on this loose strap and that is the latch method of getting the base in. So then you would just take the car seat and put it on the base until you hear it click and then strap in just like this where these little um, things are. So this car seat is in a position to be installed without a base. And how you do that is you make sure that the car seat is leveled and then um, there's a level thing on here as well on the actual car seat. So there's one on the base and on the car seat. And then you just take the belt, you loop it through and then buckle it on the other side and you do the wiggle test to make sure that it moves less than an inch. Now I'm gonna go on the other side with the base and show you what that looks like. Um, yeah. Okay, so the wiggle part is you don't wanna be able to move this more than an inch. This is good. Um, there's definitely less than an inch of movement happening. And then I'm going to switch hands. 
you want to go side to side and then pull forward and if i pull forward i can't even do that because it's so securely in there this same movement needs to be applied to the car seat over there and you would just do that by tightening on that the upper part of the belt and that's how you would strap or install this car seat without a base any car seat without a base just go through those loops buckle it on this side and then tighten it until it's barely moving and then also how that is with the belt going across like that that's how that would be once the car seat was in here and it was buckled in properly so the base gets buckled and the car seat gets buckled now this next method I'm going to show you guys is attaching the base without the child latches so on your base there is a spot a wide spot where things can go through and you can see that right there and right there what you want to do is you want to take the seat belt and go under and then over kind of like how this belt is and then under again and then buckle it on the other side so I'm going to show you that so it is weaving through this part the first part so I just went underneath and then went over and then it will go into this spot and beat it Sorry, I got a call from literally another state. So anyways, so through here, over to here, and into that buckle over there. And then you would tighten it like so and make sure it doesn't move. All right, so the strap is woven through, as you can see. It's buckled. And then again, you would just pull on this strap to make sure it was tightened and that it didn't wiggle. So you can't really see it, but because I also have this latched in, um, you would not do this if you're using the latch method. It's one or the other. Um, so, yeah. So you would do one or the other. I just have mine latched in because I'm not going to undo that. That took me forever to do. But with the shakingness and the pulling method um, so it is woven through as you can see and then you would pull on this belt and make sure it is tight and do the wiggle testing now I still have mine latched in um, I did not want to undo that <laughs> because it was a lot of work but you get the general gist of this. And then I will show you how to put the car seat in and what it should look like. So you would place the car seat in and then lower it until you hear that click. And then just like if you were installing this without the base, just weave this strap through the slots right here and right there and then buckle it on the other side just like so back it up so that's how you install a car seat now this is what you generally would do with every car seat however every car seat is different so definitely read the manual and read your vehicle's manual to know where the child anchor points are in your car and how they work for different age children Infants generally need to be anchored down here like I have it. And then other children, bigger car seats, 
it goes around the back and through a loop and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you read everything. Um, if you, like I found mine actually on the side of the road. One of my neighbors gave it away for free and they didn't have a card, not a card, but a book with it. They didn't have a manual. And so I just looked up online. I think if, depending on the year of your car seat was manufactured, you can probably find a PDF online of how to install it. All right, to the outro. Hi, did you think I went somewhere? Say hi to YouTube. This is my dog, Jake. He's only made one appearance and that was in my morning routine video. I don't know which one, but it was one of them. Okay, you guys, so that was basically a crash course on how to install a car seat. Like I said earlier, um, each car seat is different, but that's the general idea of how to do it. Um, if you can't, if you don't have a manual, you can probably find one online. Um, always make sure your car seat is not expired if there's not an actual date printed on it. Um, just count six years after and then you'll know roughly when it expires and Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful I know the quality was really really bad because I was Well, not quality, but the lighting was really really bad because I was outside and I couldn't really do it that well, but um, I think it's important for child care providers to know you know generally how to install a car seat so anyways if you like this video found it helpful please give it a thumbs up hit subscribe down below and hit the bell for notifications i post every single weekend and i post acting videos braces videos child care videos and any other video i kind of feel like doing so if any of that interests you be sure to subscribe all right i will see you guys later bye